I'm Jacob here back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about another print on demand research tool that has a free version that you can utilize today to get access to the hottest selling designs and trends on Etsy specifically, but also Redbubble and Merch by Amazon. Um, you know, it, it right now it's more powerful specifically for Etsy I'm finding, but for a free tool that you can log in and start using today, I think it's worth checking out and worth reviewing. So let's get into it. All right, here we are. This is the new print on demand tool that I wanted to go in and take a tour of, kind of mess around with, see if it's anything worth sharing. And I figured I would go ahead and film my experience with this tool so that you can get an idea of how it works and decide for yourself if you want to use it. Right now, I'm inside of the Etsy keyword research tool and I'm gonna search for granddaughter jewelry and see what comes up. So as you can see, you can go down to individual listings and you can see um, how many times they were, you can sort by how many times they were favorited and you can sort by the listing age. And if you have the full version, you can sort by the last sale. But right now, what I'm primarily concerned with is this button here that says copy best selling tags because this is going to save us a lot of time in the long run. If you've ever manually entered all 13 tags for Etsy for every product, it starts to get very repetitive. It starts to get very time consuming. And this is just one way that we can speed up the process and ensure that we're using every tool that we have to our advantage. And so you can copy the best selling tags out of all of these listings that Insight Factory has brought up, or you can go and find a specific listing that you want to copy the tags from. And you're not, you're not taking anything from anyone. These are just backend search engine tags that are going to help you get discovered. And anyone can use these tags and you should be using them to your advantage to get found on Etsy. So that's one, that's one way that Insight Factory is really going to help you um, if you're struggling to come up with what are the best selling tags for your products, if you just want to automate the process a little bit more and speed it up and you don't want to manually enter these tags any longer, Insight Factory is going to help you speed up that process and more accurately land on those high traffic and high intent keywords. So now I'm on the track Etsy competitors tab and essentially I've typed in one of the competitors that I see quite frequently on Etsy and I'm looking at some of their best selling products, their best selling tags. And if you paid for the full version, you might be able to see the last sale date, but essentially, you know, Insight Factory is giving us some pretty good information here. It's not everything. Could they be giving us more? Absolutely. So over here on the left are the best selling items options and I'll just click on shirt niches but you can click on any other niches jewelry even digital products and what you're gonna see are it appears that it's giving us products but it's really giving us search terms that are in high demand and low-ish competition lower competition this is saying for protect Roe v Wade shirt for that specific term there have been 51 listings on the first page that have had sales today. And then there are 9,900 other sellers competing under this term. And if we go into the actual keyword itself, it will pull up the same page that we were on earlier that shows you the best listings that are ranking for that search term. So it's just another way that you can find inspiration because remember, I feel like I always need to emphasize this. We're not stealing designs. We're not, we're not taking artwork. We're not, recreating pixel by pixel other people's artwork because we're not we're just finding inspiration for what people are buying at the moment because we want to spend our energy on where the trends are where the momentum is we don't we don't want to spend our time creating products for an area that doesn't have any passion that doesn't have the the traffic flow the natural energy behind it that some of these other designs have that we can uncover through product research. And so you're not, you're not creating the demand, you're going along with the demand. So the rest of Insight Factory is essentially some tools for Redbubble and Merch by Amazon, but it's a lot more limited. Um, you know, you basically have to pay to get full access to everything, but you can go to the Merch by Amazon Trends and kind of see some trending shirts 
and um, get an idea for some for some designs that you might want to make. But essentially, you're probably going to want to stick to the Etsy side of things. And that doesn't mean that you can't um, make a design that you found through an Etsy trend and then upload it to Redbubble or Merch by Amazon. Of course you can. I do that all the time. Your research, just because you're researching on one channel doesn't mean that you only post it on that one channel. You do your product research around general overall trends going on right now on basically all platforms and society itself. And then you can take that design and put it wherever you want. Guys, thank you so much for watching until the very end. I sincerely appreciate it. I hope you've gotten value from this video. Please like and subscribe if you have and leave a comment below if you have any questions at all. I just wanted to dive into this tool and see if it was worth using. I think that there are some valuable resources on the Etsy side that will help you speed up your listing process. Uh, the rest of the tool feels a little bit incomplete, but I encourage you to go check it out for yourself. I'll leave a link below. Until next time, guys, have an amazing day and create something awesome.